Hello everybody, I'm Jane from Pike Road Emporium in Montgomery, Alabama. I'm going to do a Christmas haul today of things that I've been collecting over the years and it's time to get rid of them because I've told you before I just moved into this new house and it's a mess filled and filled with stuff. So I might not know exactly what the comps are on every one of them, but I'm just going to take a wild guess. So here we go. Okay, I've got two Christmas pillows, and they're in the felt. They are so soft, and they're like the lumbar. Hmm. Sorry about that. This one says welcome. And this one says Merry Christmas. They're both in the felt. They're very, very soft and they're really, really sweet. And it'd probably be like $7 for the pair. I mean, come on. Time for them to go. Okay, let's see what I got here. And I don't know what the year is on it, so let's see. He's very, very cute. He's got like a bean bag bottom. He's got a little bean bag bottom. He's really, really cute. He's got a cute little nose. And he's probably gonna go for $5. A lot of this stuff's gonna be very inexpensive. I just dropped the scissor on my foot. Now, here's a real oldie. Um, it does say made in Japan on the bottom. And he's got the little plastic a face with a jingle bell. His felt is a little faded, but in actuality for its age, because I'm imagining this was the early 60s or the late 50s, he's really in good shape. I don't have any idea what I'm going to sell him for because I haven't run the comps, but I'm imagining he's going to be about $15. Okay, <laughs> everybody knows I used to collect pigs. Not collecting them anymore because I have too many of them. But I went to um, uh, one of those huge Christmas stores one year. And I bought this little set. It's the girl and the guy, Piggy, and their Christmas ornaments. They're all dressed in their fabric. And let's see, they're, they're about three and three quarters tall. But they're very, very sweet. They're very, very sweet. And they're probably going to be about $5 for the pair. I have another set. <clears throat> also, they're both labeled Japan. They can be taken apart or they can be together. And they're the little L's. And they're probably from late 50s, early 60s also. These were terribly popular. Um, everybody had them on their trees. Um, I find them very sweet and very nostalgic. So there's a little girl and guy. They'll be about $5. Also, here's another elf. 
who's in the typical um, folded up knee position. He's not Mark, but I know they were all from Japan. He's got a jingle bell. And these are all in really pretty good pre-owned condition, I have to say. I've, But I probably have had that 30 years. Um, now here I have another one. I don't know if he ever had an elf hat. He's got a little plastic um, the berries, you know, and that he is faded. It is hand stitched or yeah, it looks like it's hand stitched across the back, made in Japan. He's very cute, like I said, I don't know if he ever had a hat or not, but the felt over the years they do get Faded, so he's probably just gonna be four or five dollars. If he were in perfect condition, he'd probably be 15. I have two. Of the shelf sitters. She's got her eyes open, he's fallen asleep. They're in pretty good. This, the red and white stripe one is in better condition. The one in green, the arms are a little faded out. But, you know, to be honest with you, it looked like that's how they were when they were made. But they're the little pair, and they're very cute. The faces are not cracked. And they'll probably be about 8 to $10 for the pair. Now here I got a fancy one and he's pretty funny. He's just laughing up a storm. It says Noel Japan. And he's in like a gold glitter, gold lame type fabric. Very cute. And he's got those crazy little cheeks. Let's see here, there we go. Isn't he cute? Six dollars. Let's see what else. Okay, a lot of you like the molded candles, which I didn't know. And over the years, I've kind of just shoved some in boxes. So, here's one. I probably have this, because you can see I wrapped it in saran wrap, probably from the 80s. I never burned them. And he is still in great shape. Colors are good. There's no cracking on it. It's amazing that I've had it all these years and nothing has happened to it. Hasn't melted. I've had some that melted, but he hasn't. So he's probably going to be between eight and ten dollars. Um, let me see how tall he is. Uh, he's just nine inches tall. Cute, cute, cute. I would put him in on a tray or one of those bread bowls, the wooden bread bowls with other things around them. Um, I have on... Um, eBay right now, two sets of salt and pepper shakers. They're in the browns. It's a deer and foxes. And they would be absolutely adorable in those bread bowls. You know, when you make the scenes up, the Christmas scenes, or winter wonderland scene, these will all look great in it. Let's see, let's see, because I'm just pulling this stuff out. And a lot of it is wrapped. Okay. Well, 
this isn't that great. So let's put that to the side. Um, here we go. Another shelf sitter. This one is in excellent condition. Um, the red felt is perfect. His face is perfect. Look how cute he is. Obviously Japan. He's probably going to be $10. I have a lot of elves, as you can tell. Because when I was picking them up, nobody wanted them. You know, so I got them. Now here's another one of the candles. And I have them wrapped so good in bubble wrap and everything. This is also from the 80s. It's a little soldier. The little soldier boy. Very cute. He's in great condition. And he's pretty tall too. He's eight inches tall. I love him. He's so sweet. Look, look at this face. Eight to ten dollars again. Okay, now here I have two um, Christmas grates, they're called. They still have their original tags on them. I'm not familiar with this store, but I'm sure people out there will be familiar with it. It's called Newberries. And they do have tags on them from Japan. They're in their original bags. And believe it or not, they were 49 cents when they were new. But to be honest with you, I don't know where Newberries are. They can be folded up. They still have their strings. And you can tell that they're from the 50s because 50s and 60s because they stopped using metal rings on the hangers. So one is in green and one is in red. This one's got the Harlequin look and this one's got the little jester look. So they're both adorable. They'll probably be $15 for the pair because they're not open. Okay, I've got one more candle, which I didn't know I had. I hate unwrapping them because then I'm gonna have to wrap them all up again. So he is the same as the first one I showed you. So you can buy them by the pair or singly. They're nine inches. I didn't know I had a pair. I don't know half I don't know half the stuff I have. Okay, what else? Oh, I love this one, he's so cute. This is in the pink felt. He's a reindeer pig. Oops. Is he not the cutest? He's a little reindeer pig. He's got his little tail back here. So if you like pigs like I do, 
he would be a great addition to your Christmas. About, most of them are going to be between five and fifteen dollars. This one's probably going to be five. Okay. Um, I do have one more, but it is not in good shape. Um, it's old. This is, look how cute, is that hilarious? But look, see, the shoe itself is falling apart. It was one of those wicker-like shoes. So I might wind up have to take him, take him off of there, I don't know, or just sell him the way he is for $5. But, like I said, it's falling apart. He is old. Okay. Now, the last set I have. Hi, everybody. Sorry. Um, I got cut off. There we go. I got cut off. I had the timer on and didn't realize it. So, I have my last one to really show you. Um, it is a set of Santas, and they're the Roly Polies. These are so beautifully made. Every detail on them is perfect, from the epilepsy to the painting on the faces. I don't know who they were made by, and I don't even remember where I got them. Now, the fourth one is a stand-up. And he, I stand him usually behind. They're so well made that even the bottoms of the feet are, um, have little, I guess, fabric bottoms to them. But their faces are wonderful. They look like they were hand painted. Um, even down to the little buckles on the shoes. Love this set. Probably going to go for about $20 for this set. Absolutely love them. Okay, well, I have two more cartons of Christmas things. But I can't get to them today. It takes me so long to get the listings up because I'm doing everything myself and it's hard. Thank God I have my granddaughter who uploads the videos onto YouTube for me and does a little editing cleanup here and there. But if I didn't have her, I would really be in bad shape. So Grandma is going to sign off today. Sending my best to everyone. Stay well. And watch in the next day or two. I'll have another video or two of Christmas items. All going up on eBay. But don't forget to watch me on Facebook, Instagram. My site on eBay where everything goes up for sale at J Addictions. And of course my YouTube channel. Uh, Pike Road Emporium. Don't forget my motto, go out and find it, buy it, and treasure it. Bye now.